Hi everyone and welcome back to the Tackle Show YouTube channel. Today I'm back at the OFAH Mario Cordellucci Hunting and Fishing Heritage Center. Over my shoulder you can see our Ontario record fish wall where we display replicas of all of Ontario's current record fish. Today I'm going to do a video um, describing details all about a certain fish species that is underrated by far and not normally targeted by anglers but caught by accident. Today we're going to do a video all about the bourbon. All of the information in today's video can be found online at tackleshare.com slash resources. We've uploaded a bourbon fish fact sheet for you to download if you want to refer back to all the details I'm going to cover in this video. All right, let's get to it. Also known as ling, eel pout, the lawyer fish, and freshwater cod, the burbot can be identified as having a long and slender body with two dorsal fins, one short and one long, and a long thin anal fin and rounded tail. With a triangular broad head and projecting snout, the burbot has a large barbel or a little whisker here on the tip of the chin. The barbel appears to be broken on the replica here, but it should look a little bit longer like in the graphic shown below. The color may vary across its distribution, but their backs and sides are typically yellow tan or a light brown overlaid by a dark or black mottled pattern, tending to be a bit darker in the northern waters of Ontario. Widely distributed across most cold water bodies throughout the province, burbot prefer deep cool waters of lakes, but in the north can also be found in large cool rivers. They are rarely found in shallow waters except during spawning or possibly through the night when feeding. Burbot spawn through the winter under the ice when the water temperatures are around 1 degree Celsius. Depending on how early the lakes freeze, this has been recorded as early as November but usually occurs between January and March. This period is one of the only times when burbot can be found in shallow water. Spawning occurs in bays with sand or gravel bottoms in depths between 1 to 4 feet only occurring at night, and involves 10 to 12 individuals intertwined into a large ball rolling along the bottom. A 13 and a half inch female can lay over 45,000 eggs, while a 25 inch female can lay over 1 million eggs. Burbot are known for being voracious nighttime bottom feeders. Small burbot feed mainly on aquatic insects, while larger ones almost feed exclusively on other fish species like walleye, cisco, perch, smelt, and sculpins, really depending on what is most readily available. Crayfish are also very common prey, and cisco eggs have also been noted to be an important dietary item when available. The burbot's most rapid growth occurs during the first four years of its life, growing to an average length of around 15 to 19 inches. This fish continues to grow as they get older, but at a much slower rate. The average life expectancy is suspected to be around 10 to 15 years. This fish here is of course a replica of an Ontario record, so it's not your average burbot. The current Ontario record weighs 17.95 pounds and was caught on Lake Simcoe in 2017. I'll also include a link to the OFAH Ontario Record Fish Registry where you can find details about all the current Ontario record fish. Most burbot are caught accidentally by ice fishing anglers who are fishing for other species such as lake trout. The most effective way to catch a burbot is to fish directly on the bottom during the evenings through the ice with small minnows. You can also use glow in the dark spoons or small spoons tipped with minnows or salted shiners. Other suggested baits include standard spoons, small minnow type imitation baits, or glow in the dark jig heads. You could also target near shoal areas or areas with drop offs into deep water. During the open water season, concentrate on the deeper parts of the lake and fish directly on the bottom using minnows. All right, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, if you've caught a bourbon, tell us about it. We want to know what you were using. Do you have any other fishing tips to add? Please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. We have more videos coming soon detailing other popular Ontario freshwater game fish species. So if you don't want to miss it when we release those next videos, subscribe to the channel and tap that notification bell to keep more fishing content coming your way. See you next time.